Today is the 18th of January 2018. I'm at CMT Trade Fair in Stuttgart, Germany. This is a Bimobile Unimog X435, or EX, I should say, 435 Mercedes van, which costs well over a third of a million euros. And it's just the sort of thing you might want to have if you're going to Siberia in winter. We'll come over to this here and get some of the technical details. Well, in this condition, 357,842, so you'll probably want two. It's seven meters long, 248 uh, centimeters wide, and 3,600 uh, cent millimeters uh, high. And okay, let's have a look at some of the, uh, the payload, because you're gonna have to put this on a 9.8 ton basis, and in the current state, or state uh, to go at 7.75, which gives just over two tons of payload. Um, fresh water capacity 300 litres and dirty water capacity is 100 litres. Uh, two batteries coming to a total of 210 ampere hours. It's got Trumi Combi 4 uh, high heating and uh, space for two gas bottles. Right, so I'm going here. It's just said uh, please not enter without staff, but they like me, so they let me in. Right, okay, at the back here, we've got a lounge around a table. It does look a little different from the Humor Do Mobile or the Cartago Liner for two, but in a way, it has, this is the hardcore version, which is somewhat similar. Well, as far as the real lounge is concerned. Note it has exactly the same fridge in this as I do in my van. Uh, but it also has an oven, and up there, there's a bed which comes down. Now, this is the van you use in Iceland, in Siberia, in Botswana, and places like that. So, uh, in a couple of those countries, you will need good heating system. So I mentioned has the Petruma uh, come before. You will possibly need access to things uh, related to your electronics, so you can see what's going on. You've got a telly there which I think is about the last thing I would use if I were in Siberia or Iceland, but you never know, there might be some people who, who want to, to, to watch it. Um, up here we've got a skylight. Now I do like sitting on the roof and observing what's going on around me, and I'm sure I'd enjoy it in Iceland when the uh, volcanoes were going off, as I've already watched the volcanoes going off, or volcano going off in Etna in Sicily from the roof of my van bit hard to pull myself up there but I dare say I could do that once once the bed was down okay it's got a stack of storage space here which is just the sort of thing you're going to need because if you go to places like this you won't be going for a three-day long weekend break you will be going for months on end and you might even have access to a washing machine so you're really gonna want to carry stacks and stacks of stuff with you now, uh, let's come into let's come into the toilet because you're going to be uh, needing to use this, I think, on a regular basis. That is the safe of the toilet, obviously, but I mean the shower. I can see you in some of these places are needing three showers a day. That's what I have in the summer, and uh, if I were in Botswana, I'd probably be in the shower five times a day. Okay, toilet. It, okay, it doesn't look luxurious, but this isn't a luxurious vehicle. It's a, it's a vehicle which costs a lot of money, but which is used in hard uh, environmental uh, circumstances. Right, there's a mirror, because you will want to check your tie just before you uh, go out uh, climbing up volcanoes there. Does that look okay? Well, I need two hands. Through here, that's the way into the driver's cab. And there you go. So you can pull yourself through there. Oh, that does appear to be a fridge up there. I think, I'm not so certain. Or maybe just a place to uh, carry things. But having a fridge up front, well, that's not a bad idea when you're driving through the Kalahari. Okay, domestic type sink, prep space. I feel a bit stupid actually commenting on the. Uh, uh, cooking facilities in a van like this, but this is a van you're going to be using for cooking all the time. I know that the amount of people of us who actually cook in our vans uh, regularly uh, isn't all that great. I know that mostly just open a can of beans and uh, have beans on toast or something. Uh, I do try, tend to cook in mine, 
and uh, but in something like this, yeah, uh, in the middle of the Sahara, you won't find many hotels and bars open, I suspect. Okay, right, uh, plenty of storage under here as well, yeah. Great. You've got heating down there, as you can see, um, so uh, that would be handy in Iceland or something. Uh, there is only two gas canisters, which I think for something like this, um, I think an external uh, gas or, or so, even internal, ex an extra gas tank would be a good idea with uh, direct fillable. Uh, LPG point right? because you're going to take it places where you might be able to actually get gas. So there's something with Bimobile to think about or think of those who are actually getting something like this to think about. I mean, if, if you're going to spend a third of a million euros on a vehicle, then uh, an extra five or six hundred on a on a gas tank and uh, a refillable solution won't be a huge amount of cash comparably. Okay. Uh, it's quite nice, not bad at all, and I'm not so certain really why this extra bed uh, is up here. As to me, uh, they could have actually made something out of out of this. Um, and there may be a reason for it, which I haven't quite followed. Great. So, if you're uh, interested in this type of thing, please do see my site. Uh, motorhomefulltime.com. I've got information on all of Bimobile, I think all, all of Bimobile's vehicles and I am filming all of their vehicles at this event so you'll be able to see it there.